here today we're going to be talking about something rather interesting concerning a potential upcoming live event happening in Fortnite Chapter 4, potentially in Season 4. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you guys will recognise and realise that there's actually a bit a telescope that's currently under development or under construction, uh, just in, more or less in the centre of the map. Now, for those who don't know, uh, Dr Sloan has recently been moving about the map recently and some of her comrades Trace, who is actually roaming around the uh, telescope area of the map, and uh, Luminaries, who I think she's also new, now a part of the faction of. She was she used to work for the Imagined Order, now I think she's now working f uh, for herself and the Luminaries, so that's really interesting. And as you guys can, may have noticed, there were certain like gems scattered around the map uh, since this season started, in Chapter 4 Season 3, and they've been using these um, objects to create this uh, telescope, as you guys are currently seeing on the screen. Now, once the telescope is finished um, being under construction, it will give out this uh, laser beam, if you will, that we can look, use to look towards the sky. Now, we believe that this, we initially thought when we first saw this, this loop, as you guys can see, of the spiral shape, uh, is actually being caused by from what we believe is the ice moon. So just before we go into f any further on this, I want to give a big massive shout out to someone called the Raging Reaper on YouTube. Now he's made a rather interesting theory and claim that we believe the ice moon could be on its way to the Fortnite map. Now just before I go any further on this, um, this is just theory, uh, it's not confirmed. However, the, we do know the telescope, telescope even, uh, is currently under development, so we are expecting something really good on this very soon. So, let's see what the region Reaper has to say here, guys. The apparatus is revealing a massive collision with the island, one that may or may not involve a gigantic frozen moon filled with monsters. Over the course of Season 4, the apparatus has been studied carefully by Dr. Sloan and her associates, Trace and the Luminaries. With our most recent update, it's been revealed that the apparatus will soon be close to completion, and a star map will be projected into the sky. As time goes on, the star map will showcase a glowing ball, spiraling closer and closer to us before its assumed arrival in Season 4. Since we've learned this, many have been debating about what that glowing ball may be. Some say it's the Cube Cradle, on its way to destroy us. But no, it's actually the Ice Moon. Let me explain. First, this star map is showcasing the sky in the direction it's pointing in real time. That means the projection is lined up with the actual stars and celestial bodies out in space. So when you look through it, it's as if a shiny purple layer was just put on top of the night sky. That indicates to us that this glowing ball is something out in space that's actively moving towards us in the shape of a spiral. The cube cradle wouldn't spiral around the sky on its way to get us, it'd move in a linear path. We're actually looking at an orbit. The gravitational pull of the island seems to be pulling the ice moon out of its orbit as it spirals down to us for season 4. Or it's the zero point pulling in familiar celestial bodies, thank you Gabby for that theory. And to add on to it being the ice moon, this particle that's a part of the star map is called moon guide in the files. So so, uh, yeah, definitely the moon. Moving on from that, how could the ice moon smashing into the island work for season 4 in the current storyline? Lucky for us, recently concept art was posted by an Epic Games artist, showcasing many outfits and some environmental concept art. But less than one day later, it was taken down. It is very likely the concepts were deleted because one of them is arriving in-game soon and wasn't supposed to be shown yet. With that being said, one concept in particular stands out. Among the artwork sits an environmental concept of an icy wasteland filled with monsters frozen in the ice. With the ice moon seemingly heading towards our island, it's incredibly possible this concept art will see the light of day soon and that's why the post had to be taken down. Although this artwork shows monsters frozen in ice, that's still not really a strong connection to this being fragments from the Ice Moon's collision. Luckily, the Zero War comic series helped explain some of the Ice Moon's past. From reading the series, we know that the Ice King, with the help of the other elemental kings, froze dangerous creatures and weapons in his kingdom. Their goal was to keep the Omniverse safe by locking up any weapons or beings that could threaten the safety of everything. In now, for those who don't know, the Ice King actually, uh, if you remember back during one of the live events, completely covered the Chapter 1 map in snow. <clears throat> and it was covered up in the side of this, this um, spherical object. 
and actually use that spherical object to create that uh, blizzard that we got. In his fight with the Fire King, it forced the Ice King to do something he had never hoped he'd have to do. He decided to eternally freeze over the entire moon to keep him from escaping. And later on, a cosmic storm broke off a chunk of this moon and sent it on a crash course straight into the Fortnite Island, which ended up being the Iceberg. And inside of the Iceberg was a giant monster called the Devourer. Now I'm pretty sure everyone remembers that from back in chapter 1. Um, back in the days where I think it was uh, Tilted Towers that was actually frozen over in ice with that big massive iceberg that um, shifted to where onto the Fortnite map towards the end of chapter 1. I think it was like chapter 1 season 7 if memory serves. And of course frozen in that was the Devourer which is like that um, large monster that threatened to attack the uh, mech that was being underdeveloped, um, being in development over at the volcano, so that's really interesting. Which is proof that this came from the moon. <clears throat> After the paradigm put the monster to rest in season 9, she flew off to the ice moon in pursuit of more. Long story short, we already have confirmation of one monster that came from the moon, and since- Now of course, uh, for those who don't know, the mech made its way to the ice moon, and we, we later, um, found the mech that was being redeveloped again by the Seven and we used the mech of course in uh, chapter three's lab event um, so that was really cool as well. Since we know the entire ice moon was frozen over we can assume many species and creatures are still locked up there not to mention the ice king's castle full of the weapons and creatures the kings froze together. Having explained all that you can see why it's likely the ice moon will bring the island a ton of monsters in season four slowly melting out of their icy prisons and coincidentally season four is going to run straight through Halloween. A Halloween season based on terrifying monsters breaking out of the ice and emerging across the island is the perfect spooky event for season four. This would even be a great way to reintroduce some villains from the last reality, as the kings could have very well locked up dangerous beings and weapons from them in the past, which would now be freed once more after crashing into Asteria. Moving on from monsters, a certain survey outfit also seems to foreshadow the moon's arrival. Within Season 4, the Oathbound has once again gained new lore through dialogue and NPCs. With the newest additions of Princess Lexa and Prince Orin, it seems likely the Oathbound and the Ageless will be relevant in the near future, most likely during Season 4. And with a concept for an upcoming winter-themed Ageless outfit being on an existing survey, it seems this could be even more proof towards next season having an icy theme. Lastly, there's a pretty popular theory that I posted on Twitter a couple months ago discussing the idea that Chapter 4 is following Chapter 1's season themes in reverse. So far, it's added up quite well. Season 1 was parallel to Season X with the reality theme, Season 2 to Season 9 with the futuristic theme, Season 3 to Season 8 with the jungle theme, and last but not least, Season 4 seven. and Season 7 both being ice themed. To make it even more similar, the iceberg that arrived during Season 7 was a piece of the ice moon. And now, we could be having the entire moon crash into the island. It's just too perfect. That's it for today, Reapers. Use code TLL the Reaper in the item shop. So I want to know what you guys' thoughts are of that. Let me know in the comments box down below. So that's a really great theory. Um, so we're going to expect to see the ice moon uh, from those uh, purple um, stars, if you will. As you guys can see, the ice moon is this object that's been spiraling out of control, taken out of its orbit, and looks like it's going to be making its way onto the Fortnite map. So let me know what you guys' uh, thoughts are of that. Let me know in the comments box down below. I'm keen to hear what you guys' views and opinions are. Um, so we're going to have to see how... Um, I'd love to see how, for ourselves if, uh, how this telescope actually works. Do we have to activate it in some way? Uh, in order to get this, or do we have to look through it in some way? But uh, we'll keep you guys updated if anything changes here. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to use my code DeathMock992 as well in the item shop. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then.